All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So we're about to drop off our car for the 12th trip. And um, I'm just gonna walk you through how the check-in process starts at the very beginning. Last night, we received the car back from a trip, from trip 11. And we luckily didn't have to do too much when it came to washing it, cleaning it, things like that. And the car is nice and clean inside and out. So now I'm just gonna take pictures before we drop it off to the, uh, the next renter. I'll take full body picture on the outside just regular and then on the wide mode and also take pictures probably about 20 to 30 pictures the tires the rims if you have like what we have I guess like molding trims just in case that gets dinged up scraped handles mirrors again the tires you also want to get the front of the car back of the car as many pictures as you can just to cover yourself and try and get as many angles in different looks as possible you know whether it's an accident or on purpose but usually these are going to be the areas that get damaged the most obviously the top of the car all right and one thing that we purchased was a trunk mat and luckily this trunk mat it helps out a lot just on that first trip because typically easily sand gets trapped into the carpet and I think this mat costs less than a hundred bucks on Amazon. So if your vehicle, if you can buy some accessories, it actually helps in the long run to um, expedite the cleaning and um, you know the wear and the tear that's going to happen when people rent your car. So we've uh, we made it to our little meeting spot. This is typically where we would um, meet the renter at to do the exchange. Um, since it's right here outside of the airport. I will usually pick them up from the baggage claim area or from uh, the what's the spot? Pick them ride up from share. pick them up from the ride share spot or the baggage claim spot. And this is kind of I'll drive them here since it's right outside the airport. Turn over the car. We'll do all of the the visualizations. But so right now, um, if I access the Toro app and show you guys kind of the step by step of how the check in process starts. So some of the check-in part you can do before um, you actually meet with the renter. So right here, document car's condition, which means they want you to add photos. It says 10 to 15 photos, but as you saw uh, in the last clip, I said to take 20, 30, 40 photos. The more photos, uh, the more it's covering you. So um, just add as many photos as you can. Okay, so we're gonna add 33 photos. All right, so he said that he's... He's looking for terminal. All right, so we're just going to hit next, and then this part right here, we're going to finish later because uh, the odometer and the fuel level, the fuel is always going to be full when I drop the car off, but with the odometer, um, I take a picture of the odometer when I bring the car back here and switch it over. That way, it's like this is when the miles start once I give the car over to them. So I'll just hit finish later. Uh, pretty much the next step is going to be the odometer, the fuel, and then I verify their driver's license. I'll like take a picture of the driver's license and I'll add that into the photos as well. Um, we have this little sheet here. It has my we have this sheet here. It has my information here at the top, and then it goes through just some reminders here on the island uh, for them to keep in mind. And if they have any issues, they can call the customer service and the roadside assistance here at the bottom. You don't have to do this. It's a little bit extra, but um, it does not really. Uh, cost much just to remind them um, the the rules that you've set but right now it looks like they're ready to be picked up so I'm going to head over to the airport pick them up and I'll catch you guys in the next clip okay and as you saw in that last clip we were dropping the car off that is our usually our our like meeting spot um, since we don't like to pass the car off at the actual airport location right outside of the airport that's where we usually drop off and pick up from the renters and we'll drop off to the people we're renting or we'll pick them up from the airport and drop the car off there. That's one thing that Toro does have uh, kind of an issue with at the moment is airport drop off and pick up and typically that's why you're either going to pay a lot more to pick up from the airport or um, you know it's just going to be a little bit trickier on picking it up and dropping it off. As you guys saw at the beginning of the video Night before the night before the reservations, when we wash the car, we detail the car. We typically spend about two to three hours, uh, depending on you know the extent of how dirty the car is. Videos or in future videos, I will go over the products that we uh, chose to use on the vehicle.
Before I drop the car off, I'll typically take a picture of the driver's license that I'm supposed to be verifying, whether it is the primary driver or the secondary driver. I typically take a picture of that. I'll put that into the album for the detailed trip as well, which is where all the other pictures go. And I also will take a picture of the dash whenever I drop the car off to the renter. That way I know the mileage um, and then it will also uh, be in that album with the rest of the photos. And same thing whenever they turn the car back over to me. I take a picture of it, put it in there for the detail so that uh, verifies the miles that they picked the car up at and the miles that they dropped the car off at. So pretty much that rental has already came back and the car is out again. Luckily that rental um, that we're going over right now, that rental brought us up to our 12th trip and we are above 90%. So now we're just having to hold on to that until July 15th. And that will be our first look at becoming um, all-star host. Uh, so they have just some of the um, generalized things that you get as being all-star host. In my opinion, I feel like you are ranked higher. Uh, Toro will push your, your, your listing, will push your car to more people, whether that's through advertisement, when someone's searching cars, uh, yours might be one of the first on the first page. It's just when you go through Toro and you see the all-star host, they tend to have a lot of trips. And um, I feel like that is Toro's way of rewarding that host by trying to push as much reservations as they can in their direction, at least. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. More videos coming out. Uh, just creating this content. I actually really enjoy this content. Um, it's a new business venture that I've decided to dabble in, and so far, so good. And if you guys are interested in you know, starting Toro, leave comments down below of any questions that you have if you are in Toro. Uh, comment down below how your market's doing. We are here in Hawaii, so far so good. Um, pretty much booked weekly. As soon as the car goes out, it's usually the next day or the day after. And tell me, uh, or let me know in the comment section if that's how it is in your market. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.